Do you remember when Burger King released that ill-fated chicken tenders for her or whatever their woke ad was only to subsequently and quietly delete it after customers reminded them that we go to Burger King for pseudo food when we're on the run. We don't really want their woke political takes. Well, today, as a customer of Gillette, somebody who has been buying extraordinarily expensive razors since I was 16 years old. So 20 years I've been buying Gillette products because you know what? They work and that's part of the thing. When you sell people razors, they just keep buying the same thing. There's not a whole heck of a lot of difference between them until today when Gillette decided to release a disgusting anti-male YouTube short video featuring woke brigadiers like Anna Kasparian. Why they've chosen to virtue signal to the soy filled market is beyond me because most of the people who are going to respond positively to this ad haven't even started or may never experience body hair. Let's take a look at the ad that is currently sitting at 10 to one dislike ratio, aiming for that next tier top spot behind YouTube Rewind 2018. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual Toxic harassment. Masculinity. That's right, I told you it was gonna be bad. And I rarely do this, but I'm going to leave a link in the description to this video so Gillette can really hear our feedback. I wonder how long it'll be until they disable comments and ratings. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. That's right, evil men, and probably 75 to 90% of the customer base of Gillette, especially the high-priced Mach 3, which has been their stalwart for many years. Stop laughing it off and get better. You're a man, therefore you are bad. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. <laughs> Did you actually just make a reference to mansplaining in 2000 and current year? You, the people that sell us extraordinarily overpriced razors, are telling men about mansplaining and using the boys will be boys line. This is a three minute ad full of anti-male feminist propaganda. The exact opposite of what I wanna hear from the company who sells me something extraordinarily interchangeable. What Gillette appears to not understand is that while most, most people can't boycott everyday items that they need, it's very easy to switch brands with literally thousands of options to shave your face or legs or arms or pits or nips, whatever it is that you want to shave, there's a million options out there. It's literally no skin off my nose to toss out these razors and go find a new company who doesn't advertise like this, who doesn't apparently hate their customers. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Did you just include a clip of Anna Kasparian? Someone who hilariously and famously has a problem admitting that there was an Armenian genocide? I mean, I, I just, I'm not entirely sure why you would include Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks a ultra far left propaganda YouTube channel. Hmm. I wonder which intern is going to lose their job over this video. And there will be no going back because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Could you imagine this ad if it were women need to hold women accountable? You know, like Hollywood, you know, like 
Asia Argento. You know, like the person I covered at Square Enix, a woman who bullied and ruined the life of a male subordinate. I don't understand why these companies think this kind of advertising is good for them. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to publish this video. Hopefully you'll like the video and consider sharing it on Twitter and Facebook. So anyone who might be one of the millions of Gillette customers can see what they think of men to see how little they value their customers. And then the woke brigade, the woke outlets will talk about me as a toxic, a toxic man baby, somebody incapable of accepting criticism. When this video is anything but criticism, and most importantly, the most important thing is you sell razors. You are not a social commentary outlet. Just like Ben and Jerry's or Wizards of the Coast, whenever the companies that sell consumable goods want to get into politics, especially the kind of politics that bash their customers, we are going to be here to remind them that they need us, not the other way around. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big Yo, men, and small. I am strong. I am strong. <laughs> are they still bringing up catcalling like it's legitimately a thing? Like it's an actual problem? I have a feeling that if you polled women, by the way, look, catcalling, a little archaic probably not going to pick up a girl that way, but I'd also be willing to bet that it's not universally hated getting compliments. I don't know. I've never been catcalled. I've never actually even seen it happen, but I'm also fairly certain that women do this as well. And really catcalling in current year? What are they thinking? But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. And there we have it. This misguided toxic masculinity ideology. This idea that there is something inherently wrong with being a male, that boys are something to be fixed. Men are a problem of dysfunctional boys, right? Not the two parent household, you know, moms and dads and all this kind of problems, but boys are inherently something to be fixed. And we are born with this original sin of masculinity. The idea that we're even talking about this in the same sentence as a company that sells mostly men's razors is absurd to me. The idea that people watching this video aren't gonna go over to the Gillette video or go share this particular video on Twitter with the hashtag get woke, go broke is absurd. The people who are going to cheer for you Gillette about this are not your customers. They were never your customers. The soy infused youth of today couldn't possibly afford Mach 3 razors. There's no way. And at the rate in which they grow their facial hair, they probably would buy a single blade for a lifetime. And the idea that this is gonna be anything good for Gillette is hilariously exposed in the existing comments of the video. The top comment, my wife's son loved this. Thank you. <laughs> and Gillette favorited it and replied, happy to hear he enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. Gillette, they missed the joke. Boomer tier. Yes, the top comment is a satire on being a cuck. It's okay, Gillette. I'm sure the land whale feminists who never shave will buy your razors. Hmm. If speaking kindly to plants helps them grow, imagine what speaking kindly to humans could do. <laughs> Who do you think buys your products? Mostly men, I'd say. 
never buying this garbage again. Well done. 775 upvote. Absolutely terrible at. Congrats on the empty platitudes and virtue signaling. Nearly a thousand upvotes. On top of the pathetic concept, they used a Young Turks video clip. Another customer lost for life. 286 upvotes. I'm not a man, but lefty politics like this have no place in a shaving razor ad. 600 upvotes. What a disgusting, horrible, and inaccurate depiction of men. You can count on losing my business permanently. Not buying your products anymore, any, ever. You are the enemy. This is pure leftist propaganda, and you have the nerve to mix in Terry Crews' testimony to Congress about his assault in Pedowood, which is destroying his family, by the way. We will never submit to the feminization of men. Your products are trash. The internet will not forget. I hope Procter & Gamble stock takes a nosedive. This is a small thing to change your razor to back companies that choose to worry about selling me the best possible product that they can at the best possible price. This is the dumbest ad of 2019, bar none. I would be extraordinarily surprised by the time I upload this video if comments and votes are not disabled. I would be extraordinarily surprised. It's currently sitting at 5,000 downvotes to 400 upvotes. Comments are still on. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to be exporting this video as quickly as possible and uploading it to spread the word about you finding a new company to buy your expensive razors from. I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, Gillette, get woke, go broke.